Live migration in Hyper-V moves virtual machines in series rather than in parallel. And many people think that this means that you have to issue a separate command to move each VM. Now this isn't true. If you load the failover clusters module for PowerShell, one of the commands is this one, move cluster virtual machine role. And if we look at the help that's available for that, the last example in the help shows us how we can move all the VMs on one cluster node to another node from a single command line. By piping commands from this module together, we can first of all get an object that represents a cluster node, then a set of objects that represent the cluster groups running on that node, and some of those will actually be our highly available virtual machines. Then we can get the resource objects that make up the cluster groups. And we can use those as the basis of a WHERE condition to filter down the cluster group objects to the ones that represent just the virtual machines. Once we've got those, we can pipe them into the MOVE command. Now, before doing the MOVE, I just want to show you that we've got Failover Cluster Manager here to show which nodes own which virtual machines. And I've also got a remote desktop connection into the highly available SQL virtual machine, which is just running the Resource Governor demo. So if I go ahead and start that command, let's pop over to uh, Failover Cluster Manager, and you can see the progress of the migration. And you'll see the owner just changes to Wallace there. And then the second VM begins to migrate. And again, you can see the progress, and you'll see it change over to Wallace. Now, if you look at the remote desktop connection, there's no real sign from a user's eye view that their virtual machine's being migrated. There's a drop in performance while the host is doing the live migration, but as far as the user's concerned, their VM continues to be available, and you really can't see the join while the live migration's going on. Of course, I may not want to build these commands up in the shell every time. So what I can do is just copy that command here, paste it into an instance of Notepad, and if I remove the command prompt from it, and join the two halves of the line together, then what I can do is just add a couple of extra lines. One says I'm going to have some parameters for this script, and the other one loads the failover clusters module, and then if I replace the names that were in the command with the parameters, I can save this as a PS1 file, a PowerShell script file, and create shortcuts that specify the parameters to allow me to have a one-click action to migrate all the VMs on one node to the other node of my choice.